Hello stylers! Welcome back to the Full Style Eating channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I am the founder and creator of Full Style Inc. Okay guys, we are back. We are back into it. We're back into this series of the plus size queens of RuPaul Drag Race, a fashion analysis. I love this series. I'm having quite fun with the series. Um, so today's contestant, the drag queen we'll be talking about today is one of my favorite, like truly one of my favorite plus size drag queens. And that is Eureka. She is one of the most successful, famous plus size drag queens of RuPaul Drag Race. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she is the most impactful. She is vibrant, loud. She's there. She's in your face. And honestly, I love her, like truly. Um, okay. So for this video, I will be referring to Erika in the feminine pronouns, she, her. I know Eureka has went through um, going by them, they. She came out as trans, uh, trans. And so I know there she she's still discovering and developing her journey as a queer person. So, but in current states in time right now, Eureka goes by her she. So that's what I will be referring to her as for this video. Um, because you know you want to be respectful, you want to be intentional about the things and words you say. So before we get into it, I just want to do a brief introduction of Eureka. Oh, Eureka O'Hara is from Tennessee. She was originally on season nine of RuPaul Drag Race, um, but due to a illness, well not illness, um, an injury, I think she broke her ankle or something. It was it, did she break her ankle? She tore her ACL, that's what it was. She tore her ACL. Uh, so she left slightly halfway through season nine, but returned with on season 10 and uh, came back for season six of all stars. And I, <laughs> I love that I got to see more chances to see Eureka because she's me. That's the, my sister says like my music that I listen to sometimes is like, Oh my God, you're like uh, a gay man. I was like inside me, there is a bigger than life, taller than life, bigger you know what I'm saying? Like inside of me is a skinny girl. No, no. Inside of me is a bigger, larger than life gay man. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Eureka is my drag uh, spirit animal. Yes. Okay. So yes, she is from Tennessee. Um, What are some bits about her? Let's see. Let's get into it. She's 33. Oh my gosh. She's a year younger than me. I didn't know she was 33. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, I know she lived in Las Vegas for a while, but she, I think, now resides in LA. But that is not why you guys here. So, 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 so. I once again constructed a tier uh, chart. And I know I tried to go in order last time um, of the different challenges and the different looks and the runway looks, but Eureka has such a robust portfolio of looks on RuPaul because she has been on three seasons of RuPaul. She has quite a lot to show. She has a great wild reputation of looks. And so I wasn't able to find all of the looks and good quality photos of the looks, especially those from season nine. Um, she doesn't have all of that stuff on her Instagram and I'll be scrolling forever if I try to go through Roos or Drag Race Instagram or YouTube. So I did the best I can to find what I could find through Google and some other like blogs and Reddit threads and everything. So I have about 36 looks to show you. And although that sounds like a lot, there is still more. Um, I am only using the looks from the runway challenges and the finales when they do their like lip sync and they have like round one, round two, and like a reveal. So I'm only doing Eureka's runways and lip sync looks, none of the challenge it looks, none of the premiere promo looks. Oh, and also I'm doing the runway looks. 
the re the lip syncs. What I just say I was doing. The runways, the finality like lip sync looks, as well as entry looks. So those are the three categories of looks that I am going to be looking at. I could do a separate video along of the looks that Eureka wears for We Are Here. That first of all, my sister put me on to that show. We she binge watched the hell out of it. I binge watched it with her. Absolutely obsessed with that show. I'm excited for the third season that I know has um a whole new list of queens doing it and for some reason right now I want to say Shea kool is one of them but I could be wrong but the looks that she did on that on that show are iconic they're iconic and it was always a theme all three of them Chantelle, Bob the Drag Queen all was just uh so anywho I could do a video alone on that but I'm not so we only going to be doing Eureka season 9 season 10 and then season 6 of All Stars so okay 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 Again, I'm I'm not going to try to go in order. I don't even know where to begin. So I'm just going to start. And the first one is the same as always, 10s across the boards. That means they knocked the category out the park. They went over and beyond. Like the, the assignment was understood. The assignment was accepted. The assignment is what it is. The next one is, what was the category again? Because the look... It's so good, I almost forget what the category was. I don't even know how it fits into the category, but it's so good, I have nothing to say. The next one is, it's a look though. And like, it's a look. Like, it's not quite, okay, what we doing here, but it's a look. So like, slightly, what's the category again, but not quite there. And then we have, where is the fashion? Meaning, this is just, what, where is the fashion? What is, being, what is being said? What is being told? I don't know what's going on. And then lastly, clothes on body. You just did something. You just put on a garment and walked out the door. Ah, sorry. This first look, this first look is from season six of the All Star series. So All Stars six. Um, and the category was what was the category? Drag totes look. It was based off of Alexander McQueen. It's giving drama, darling. There's this pretty, I want to say that's like a LeMay, but it may be like a lacquer, almost shiny metallic fabric that has been draped to give you almost like this deep cow um, neckline, this draping around the front that also can be worn, fitted to the body because she has these long sleeves and this nice body hugging, um, look like it's cut on the bias almost, draping skirt to this gown. And then the fabric and even the cowl goes up into this magnificent headpiece that is this crown. And I absolutely love it. This one, because I'm basically going off of memory with a lot of these looks. Um, I don't remember what, exactly the details of the category. Like what the category was given, but it's Alexander McQueen, so that could have been anything. This look, I don't even, I don't, I don't remember, I don't know how this fits the category. Drag totes look. I don't remember how it fits the category. I don't know if it fits the category, but it's a good fucking look. Share the categories, the tier. I've changed it since the last video. Alexander McQueen. I don't know where this goes. I am going to put it, because what's the category? I don't know what the category, I don't know how I fits in the category. I should have done some little bit more homework and rewatch that episode because I don't know how that fits <laughs> into the category. Okay, so moving on, moving on. So this next look is there, it, this next look is what Eureka wore in her entry to season nine of Drag Race. And it's a very, it's kind of a simplified version of like a 1950s, 1960s look. It has this structured bodice with a little tiny, like a, like a mini peplum skirt that goes, peplum like frill that goes into this pencil skirt. Again, it looks like it could be in, I don't even know. 
know, a spandex or some type of jersey stretch. It has these cute little um, pink polka dots on this very vibrant turquoise. No, I would say that's teal. Teal bodice with this sink. I'm not a fan of this look. Not a fan. Eureka's face is phenomenal in this look. Her face is beat. Uh, but I'm not a fan of this look. Like, the Eureka I know that we know now, well, those who are, you know, fans, know now, We I wouldn't look at this look and be like, oh my God, that is a Eureka look. This was baby Eureka, honestly. And we're all allowed to have those moments of evolving and growing and just thriving out here in this world and this community. So, for this look, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put it in Where's the fashion? Where's the fashion? It has to go. It has to be there. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what else to do. Okay, so the next look. Oh, this next look is so fun. It's so fun because it's so stupid. <laughs> this next look was their first runway. And it's the category. It What was the category? Hometown. The category was hometown. And she's from, yeah, Johnson City, Tennessee. Um, I don't know much about Johnson City, Tennessee, but I don't, I, this is funny. This is funny. Um, it tells a story. And that's one thing I come to love about Eureka. Eureka. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to say her name. That's one thing I come to love about Eureka's drag is there it tells a story there's little bits and pieces in her drag that comes together to tell parts of the story so we have this distressed tights we have the two little mini skirt we have this corset that makes it feels like it's doing something there's a flask or something in her hand she's drinking she has cigarettes in her hair her makeup is sweat she's been out on the town and she's holding a baby because she had to pick up a baby from the uh, from the babysitter because she was out too much on a bender. It looks a mess. It looks crazy. Um, I I identify with this look because I've seen this look in in the big city of Chicago, but I've definitely known this look to be. And everybody knows her. Everybody knows her. Everybody knows her. Everybody knows her business. Everybody knows she should not have that baby, but here she is. I'm going to book this in what where. where it's a look though. It's a look though because it's not bad. It's not changed across the board. It's not where it's the it's 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 a it's a look though. It's a look. It's a look. It is a look. And the look tells a story. And that story is that lady should not have that baby. <laughs> okay, so next look, and this is I believe still like the same day that runway. And it is their, um, the category was Gaga. I believe Gaga was actually there for this. I believe Gaga was actually there and they all had to do a Gaga look. And I cannot remember the video reference for this. It was one of Gaga's many videos. She was in jail. She was looking fabulous in jail. My sister would be able to tell me. Immediately, she'd be like, oh, girl, that's that because my sister is an LG fan. Stand down. Okay? So, yes, this look, um, I love this black and white stripe, the exaggerated shoulders, the little mini skirt, a mini dress to it, the thigh-high boots, the makeup, the hair. It's giving full Gaga. Gaga was gog smack, like, ah, oh, shocked, horror. So, I'm going to put this in tens across the board. Our first tens across the board because it's so... Spot on Gaga is so, so good. And if it's Gaga for her, it's Gaga for her body, it's Gaga for Eureka. She gave the Gaga of the Gaga and there's no other Gaga that can be done Gaga before. So I'm going to go to this third look. This third look is this very dramatic sequence gown that has these bands and stripes of color sequence that's in the rainbow um going across the body it has the mermaid skirts it has these sh the, like these shimmery organza ruffle sleeves that go up into this very high collar her face is beat she has on this very clowny 
orangey wig that is giving the girls something in these very funny bowls. And she's serving a look. A look is being served. An understanding is being passed. So I'm going to put it in. The This was a finale lip sync, I believe. I'm 100%. Yes, this was the finale lip sync. There was no category. So, like, I don't... What was the category again? Because there was no category. It was a look. And then the reveal for this is this cat full cat suit with the stomach cut out. The sleeves are still there. The ruffles are still there. There's these patchwork of all these colors that has been moved and just like a mosaic tile or like a, a stained glass window and these cutouts on the stomach and on the hips and this mosaic of color the sleeves the collar there's a little cutout on the neckline on the bodice it's, it's cute it's cute but the funny part is is that she pops on a red nose clown a clown red nose because she, she said she just for the shits and giggles she popped on this she popped on this red nose for the shit, for just cuz, cause she had the time. Okay, I don't know what the category was. I don't know what it was, but I know she did what needed to be done. Oh, some stuff. <laughs> so this look, we have this beautiful showgirl esque type um, look. This is from the All Stars Hall of Fame extrava eleganza extravaganza. Um, uh, I think this was, I'm trying to remember the premise of this episode because they had already did the lip syncs. I think it was like reunion almost type. I can't remember. They changed the format slightly every year to keep it interesting to like, you know, change around, do some things differently. But it's this very showgirl and it's very much... Alaganza, Astrophagansa. It's very Vegas showgirl. It's very it's big in the life. Which I love to see as a big girl on this, on a big, on a big person, on a big girl. Because these type of looks, this type of construction, this type of style are you never on Vegas, you never see this on a big person. You never see this on a big girl. You never see the the busy the busy the stoned bedazzled bra, the huge headpiece and the feather skirt and the low rise little panties or boy shorts or skirt. Like you never see that. That Look, when you think of Vegas showgirl and they have the feathers and the stones and all of the extravaganza, it's always on a smaller body. It's always on a smaller body. The only time I ever see anything similar closer to resistance is when there's carnival. And you have all these beautiful women of different body types and different sizes getting these looks made or making their own looks and they're giving it. And that's the only thing that I can equate like equal to a Vegas showgirl iconic look and the carnival looks that the girls be giving when it's carnival time. And I honestly want to do that. But I'm not, I'm not, I got to have a little short. I got to have a look a little boy, like a little boy short. I ain't going to do a full penny. But anywho, but I do want to do that one day. I want to make my own. I want to go. Anywho, so um, this look ten, tends across the board because I gave the very reasons. Because Also because I'm biased. I'm Bias. I know this is a bodysuit. Like this is like a sheer bodysuit. So this is not her actual body, but it looks so fucking because you never see this. You never see this. Even with the little um bow of fan things hanging from the, the chains on her arms. It's so Vegas show. It's so extravagant. It's it's almost like something Kahana from I don't know original season, but she was in the last All-Star season. <laughs> and she, I ain't gonna say nothing about her. Kahana should've went home early that she went home. From the, what was that, season 11? Season 10, season 11 of All-Stars, Kahana, she's a Vegas showgirl. She gives off Vegas showgirl. She's done a few Vegas showgirl looks. This is something that she would do. This is something she would give. And this is something that's being done on a plus-size body. So you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is iconic. This is it's fashion. This is art. Art. Next one is from their 
It's from season nine. Is that season nine? No, season 10? I don't know where I'm at. Okay, sorry. This is from All Star Season 6. This is the Oops, I Did It Again. This is a fashion, a fallible fashion moment or a fashionable fashion fail. Something highlights. The, the words come together. But this is the Oops, I Did It Again. And I love this look. And I also love that how Eureka came back on her Instagram and told the story. So basically, there again, so much is happening in this story. Um, this is almost like Cinderella barely... Cinderella was out here when she went to the ball. Like, she didn't just go to the ball. She she was out here. Cinderella is drunk. Her makeup is running. Her bra is showing. She went to the bathroom and... She, she, you know, she'd been drinking, so she didn't, like, make sure she was straight before she came out of the bathroom. So, her gown is tucked into her panties. She has tissue stuck on the bottom of her shoe. It tells a whole story. It's a hot mess. Cinderella looks a hot mess. But also, Cinderella is giving. Eureka is giving. And again, tens of what is a fashion fail. Cinderella is supposed to be at her top. Cinderella is supposed to be at her A game. And she, she got too, she got too, how much too much fun at the ball. Drunk too much. And, you know, lost her way. Okay, so I have a look on here twice. So next look is a look that I really, really love. This is from, I'm sorry. This is from All Star Looks, and this is the pop art look. And I love this look for so many reasons. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. It's giving what needs to be gay. 1960s pop pinup. I mean, not pinup. 1960s kind of mob pinup. Um, it's Andy Warhol. It's the colors. It's the contrast. It's the look. It's the fact that she used her own face, her own, like her own self as the towel, as the thing that's being reprinted. It's so cute. And it's so funny that I'm teaching my fifth and sixth graders right now in one of the schools I work at about different art periods through time. And one of them is pop art. And I'm definitely going to show them this look. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting in trouble for showing them a drag queen. Anywho, so this look for me turns across the board for the very reasons I said. For the very reasons I said. This next look is the category Hot Topics. Now, again, I should have did a little bit more research because Hot Topics, it's a beach ball. She's in a swimsuit beach ball. Um, and she gave. I have no words. I have nothing to say. Um, uh, it's cute. I don't understand the category. I don't understand how she got here and got there. But it's a beach ball. It's cute. She's a beach ball. I don't understand the category. I don't I don't understand the category. So I'm gonna put what's the category again? It's a cute look. I love it. I um this next look is oh my god, the gothic look. This is the go all oh my goth look. Mm. This look is so dramatic. I I want to experience around with like a golf look. Just like like once. Like maybe for like a season. Like for like spring. Mm, maybe winter. Maybe I get a go in winter. I want to do a little grunge golf in winter. I just want to see if I can pull it off. I just want to see. I'm, I'm being ex I'm trying to explore art. I mean fashion. Yeah. Both. Um, this look is this structure black leather faux leather bodice corset underneath it over it i don't know i don't care is this sheer black long dress we have these puff sleeves that that seem to have like the black leather underneath as well we have a little garter a little penny a little tight a little stocking and then these to have boots and then the makeup the makeup is giving very 1920s goth because we have the thin eyebrows, the very dark smoky eyes with the very pale skin and the rouge, the very prominent rouge on the lips and the hair held high. I, so much is happening in this look. So much is happening in this look, but also I get it. Like she's referencing so many different things, 1920s, she's referencing um, I want to say 1880s. The 18, ooh, there goes my food. She wants to reference, she's referencing the 1880s and the very, like with the hair and the gown and the night. I don't know. Like she's, 
she's a madame in a you know a brothel i she's the, the she's the entertainment in the brothel like she's performing for the people at the brothel like she's not the prostitutes at the brothel she owns the brothel but she also performs at the brothel i don't i don't know it's i mm, mm, i don't but it gets gothic. It gives it gives dramatic. It gives horrible. It gives nineteen. It gives eighteen hundred Victorian era gothic. Like it's is she alive? Is she dead? I don't know. I don't know. All right, next one. And this one, I believe, hundred percent positive that this was the showing challenge. But again, I could be wrong. Um, this one is Clash of the Patterns, and I believe Eureka made this look. Again, I could be wrong. I will put notes in the screen if I'm wrong because nine times out of ten, I be mixing up episodes. I be mixing up seasons. I be mixing up contestants. Okay. Class of the Titans. Class of the Patents. Not the Titans. Class of the Patents. Drama. Okay. The gown is sewn. Bunch of patterns. The construction is amazing. The way that the patterns, the strips of patterns follow the body across the bust. They nip in, they have that V that nips in into the waist to identify and bring it, you know, secure the waist. And then they have, they curve around to the body and then they fell, fell out into this huge mermaid style skirt. And then this little thing up here, I don't know what that thing is. Don't know what she is, but she cute. She is cute. It's, it's, this look is so much. It's so much. Most people are like, oh my God, that's too much. That's too, but it's drag. It's drag. That's the point. It's so much. It's good. It's good. It's 10 across the boards. I mean, obviously, I don't know why y'all thought that was going somewhere else. All right. So moving right along. I told you guys it was a lot. The next look is the thrill of it all. And we're talking about thrill, th thrill, th thrills. I don't know where I was going with that one, but we talked about thrills. And Eureka decided to grace us with her presence in this very bubblegum pink, this almost a Barbie pink, pulling into her southern roots, this um, bodysuit, this long sleeve bodysuit that's given Elvis almost um, with the collar and the cuffs and goes into these chaps, pants. I don't know if they're chaps, I don't know if they're pants, but these ruffle thrill organza iridescent organza pants. It has all these ruching and these ruffles and these thrills and it's dramatic and it's drama. No one is wearing that actually on the farm. No one is going horseback riding with these pants on. But damn it, I'm gonna look good standing next to this horse in this look. And then she taps it off with a hat because why because because why not? Why not tap it off, top it off with a hat? Why not let these people have it? Okay? Why not? If I'm going to give you what I'm giving, you got it. Next look is this fun little funky look, and that is Blue Better Work. Baby, she has a job. She's working. She's in construction. She's in, she has a job. She's in construction. She's in engineering. She's a firefighter. She's a police officer. She's in uniform. And I believe that most people did like a uniform look. And she has this cute little crosswalk life. I want to say lifeguard. Crosswalk of the crosswalk guard people. Um, I remember them growing up. Um, and this cute little orange neon little set with these with this bright piping um within this yellow and then the reflective strips that goes around like a harness and these little sleeves and then she has a little hat on top this wig and she has a stop sign it don't say stop it says strut that's adorable that's so stinking cute um tens 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 Y'all, this is a lot. Yo, y'all. I was trying to save Eureka until after I did somebody else. But that person had a lot going on. So I was like, let me do Eureka because. Next up is Blue Jean Baby. And this one is denim. This denim is blue is blue. This look, she's giving 19, like 1990s, like rap star. She's giving Queen Latifah. <laughs> 
She's giving Queen Latifah in this denim, long, dramatic denim duster coat dress situation. I don't know exactly what it is. It has this the straps and the stitching that kind of follows the curves of the body, almost like a corset. And she has these buckles and the pockets. There is a little like bodysuit underneath, but the main part is the the dress, the jacket situation. And then she has this large, huge gold chain initial with the letter E for Eureka because why the fuck not? Again, I, what was the challenge? The challenge in understanding self. That's what it was, okay? So she's intense across the board because the challenge was what the challenge was. Next up is Eureka's entry look for her All-Star Season 6. And I... I'm gonna need more space. It's, 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 it's giving... It's got so many fashion historical references. It has the hoop pinets. Is that what it's called? The Not the hoop skirts. I don't... I can't remember the exact term. Too many fashion references are popping in my head. It has that that has no purpose being on this dress because that is not how you wear them and it is not the style of dress you wear it with but who fucking cares because she looks absolutely amazing excuse my cussing but that's how i feel this bodice is fitting the skirt is gorgeous the mermaid of it all and then the sleeves you would think with the hoop basket that the skirt will be the sleeves will be Tamed, absolutely not. She comes in straight out the bag. This is ev this is an evolution of Eureka as we know it. From her first look that I showed you guys from season nine, her entry, first look from season nine to this for the All-Star season six. Mm. Mm. What was the category again? I don't know. And then she styles it in photos on her Instagram with a little umbrella. Because, you know, she's a lady. She can't be out in the sun and, you know. What? Ma'am. Okay. Um, I didn't talk about her season 10. So, this next one is her season 10 entry. So, and I love, again, Eureka is going to tell a story. Many drag queens do this. But, like, I, I'm we're talking about Eureka right now. Eureka is going to tell a story. This look is this phoenix look she comes in looking like she's walking carnival did not mention it it's very showgirl it's very vegas has this massive headpiece and eureka is a big girl she's a big girl even without heels she's huge with heels and the doorway never seems to work why do they make it that small with this big huge hairpiece and these with these adornments these epaulets on these shoulders that like shoot out like just like daggers in your face and this nice little cute little bodysuit with this red and this flame and his face is beaten. It's a phoenix. She's rising from the ashes because she didn't get a chance to fully do last season of RuPaul to her fullest because she had to go home due to an injury and she's here and she's back to slay the competition. Okay? Hmm. I love this look. Tens across the board because who, who else shows up in their second time around on RuPaul Drag Race, it's a freaking phoenix. How many drag queens have ever came back the second season after leaving early due to elimination or illness or or uh, injury or whatever? How many? There's only been a handful. Next look is is one of my favorite looks of from Eureka. Period. Like one of my favorite looks. Period. And that is her Eureka dress. She, I've seen her in this dress a few times, and I don't even know. Okay, so this is from season ten. This is the final four eleganza extravaganza look. This is when right before we go into the finale. This is the last season before the last episode before the finale, and she chose to walk in her Eureka look. So it's Eureka. The definition of the pronunciation is that she took it out the dictionary with a little light bulb on her head to signify ah eureka a, a moment of spark of of a creativity of a thought of a process it's it's genius it's simplicity but it's genius sorry it's simple it's simple but it's genius 
And simple meaning the dress is a simple dress. It has the word and the pronunciation for you read on the back and on the front and then on the back is a definition. A simple. That's 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 for drag, that's simple. But the construction is nine times out of ten. It's ten out of ten. And then the I, the thought of wearing this headpiece with this the, the light bulb and the Eureka like ah moment. Um oh so good. It takes it to another level. Putting it in tens across the board. That tens across the board is growing. Because as it should. And that's okay. That's good. It's good to let people breathe from time to time. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to keep your head, your head, your heel on their neck. And sometimes you have to give them, you know, a breath of air. Especially you want to keep them alive so you can keep them around. They can keep gagging. It's a finale look. This is what she wore at the start of the finale. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's giving homage to her namesake. Well, her last name, her house, and that is O'Hara. It's giving Scarlett O'Hara. Um, and it's this beautiful, what is this? I want to say 1870s. When is the movie supposed to be placed? The movie is supposed to be in one time, but the fashion is in another time because for some reason, um, beautiful, beautiful gown. The ruffle structure, sweet line off the shoulder, um, neckline, the the belted green sash belt, and then this beautiful ball gown hoop skirt with this beautiful fabric that looks like some curtains because that is what was done. Tens across the board. Next, we have her lip sync round two looks. This is um, her look that I love. I love this look, and I'm gonna put this already in tears across the board because for reasons. I love this look. This look was a very fun, fun, fun look. Um, it's fringy, it's black and white, it's fringe along the shoulders of the epaulets. It's fringe along the midsection of the waist of the peplum, so yeah, she's shimmy. And it's fringe along the leg as she kicks her legs and she twirls and she moves around and she let you people have it. And I love that even this look in itself was a reveal because she has across the front and it says the, the big girl wins. And we all know that we are still waiting for the day that a big girl wins RuPaul Drag Race US, the original. There's been a UK version. But she, I, I hear you. She was delivering a message. And I honestly, I was like, yes, Eureka, deliver that message. I'm going to eat it up. Scrum, 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 delicious. Okay, guys, that is it. That is my wrap up. That is my style analysis of Eureka, who is one of my favorite drag queens, period, and um, of RuPaul Drag Race. And I absolutely love her attention. Okay, I don't know when she stopped. I love her attention to detail in her styling. I love her attention to detail in her drag and how her drag is fun. It's funky. It's telling stories. It's a storyteller. It's bits and pieces. It also breaks the boundary of what we have normally seen in, on a plus size body and stuff that we usually see on straight sizes being done on a plus size body. I love that. I'm, I'm here for it. If you do not follow Eureka on Instagram, I highly suggest you do so. If you have not seen any of seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race, I highly suggest you do so because it's a it's a fun time. It's a good time. Um, if you're not following me, what's up with that? Come on now. Come on. I'm, I'm, we're getting into it. I got things coming and like things are happening. So let's do it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know I enjoyed looking at these looks all over again and just getting ugh, ugh, so inspired and excited about it. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so very much. I'm about to go eat, take a break. I have one more video to do, but I'm going to eat first. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you are loved. You are worthy to be loved. But most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Bye, stylists.